Get ready for some AMI Blind Life Hacks with Alex Smythe. I'm at Knifeware in Edmonton and I'm joined by manager Chris Armitage, who's gonna teach me the basics of using a knife. So Chris, we have our knives and our cutting boards in front of us. What's the first step? First step is how we hold it. It's really important not to get a white knuckle grip on your knife. You wanna be relaxed in the kitchen. Actually pinching the knife by the steel, almost like a guitar pick, is gonna give you a lot more control over the knife. It's gonna shorten up a, a really long blade and it's gonna give you a better balance point. The other hand is the tricky part, right? That's where you're gonna get into trouble. Using, a lot of people call it the claw, what it really is is curling your fingers underneath your hand so they're out of the way. Your index finger and your middle finger become your knife's best friend. They're actually going, on the first knuckle, gonna sit right up against the edge of your knife. All of your fingers are then tucked behind those two fingers and you can feel where the edge of your knife is gonna be and nothing should slip out underneath. So why don't we cut a potato? When you cut, don't push through whatever you're cutting. Kind of slide across it. Let the edge of the knife do the work. My knuckles are pressed right up against the side of the knife and that way I know where all of my other fingers are. The knife's never coming up above my knuckles. It's just resting against my hand and my other hand is pressed against the board and I can use those knuckles to determine how big my cuts are gonna be. The thing to remember though, is keep those knuckles right up against the side of the knife and curl those other fingers in. If you curl them under and actually press them down into the board, then you can train them a little bit so that they don't wander on you because a wandering finger is a missing finger. For more AMI Blind Life hacks, go to youtube.com forward slash accessible media.